hello and welcome to another video so in this video i have here a new device that i have bought from robo.in so in this video i am going to uh, unbox this device and take a look into this device so this is actually the lc100 lcr meter Now this device comes with uh, the testing leads and the power cable. So I don't know uh, whether this can be used to upgrade the firmware in this or not, but uh, it is certainly for powering the device. Now if we just take a closer look at the device itself, we have a few buttons like red, white, blue and yellow. Now these buttons are lockable, that means we can uh, lock this button three of these buttons are lockable and the red button is just you have to press it we have a function button also and on the other side we have two power connectors one is the usb and another is the barrel jack connector and on the bottom side there is no such device on the right side we have a on off switch i think uh, it's not written which side is on which side is off but uh, that we can find out by connecting the power and to the left side we have four connectors here which are uh, obviously not shouldered so i assume these are for the uh, firmware upgrade so let's connect the uh, probe into the testing connectors and then i will be testing the device so here I have connected this device to my power bank and uh, I will turn on to see how it appears. Now I have not changed the position of this light switch so uh, I can see whether it's by default turned on or off. So if I turn on the power bank I obviously has to turn on this and here it reads the capacitor some random values it's reading so uh, if I press 0. Okay, now it is reset to zero. Again, it is measuring because it has some capacitance. The leads are actually very close to each other. So for testing purpose, I have here a bunch of capacitors and a few inductors, as well as I have a transformer also that I will be testing. Now, uh, if I press the function button, it can, uh, we can uh, obviously set the function values say the frequency that uh, that is used to test and by default uh, i guess it is 653 kilohertz so let us first test this capacitor which is uh, 225j so here i have connected the capacitor and uh, it's now reading 319 nanofarad now if i press the high capacitance button it reads 2.1 microfarad which is pretty close to the value because it's uh, exactly it is written 2.2 microfarad now i want to test the same capacitor using my multimeters capacitor testing mode so here my multimeter is and so the multimeter reads 2.173 microfarad and in the uh, lc meter it's it was reading 2.2 Zero 01 so pretty close let's uh, test a few other capacitors also so the next capacitor is this 220 nanofarad capacitor now this one is reading 0 0.21 microfarad which means 220 uh, 210 nanofarad now i want to test the same using the multimeter also so here it is reading 233 nanofarad so there is a slight difference in the readings from the multimeter and the capacitance meter here and i assume that is because of the frequency at which these devices are measuring so now let's uh, measure some of these uh, electrolytic capacitors and see how accurate these are so this one is actually 330 microfarads capacitor So this one reads 354 microfarad in the LC meter 
and now let's test this with the multimeter now it's reading 352 microfarad from the multimeter let's test the other capacitor also so here i have another capacitor which is 100 microfarad rated so i just connect the positive and negative and this one is reading 87.6 microfarad in the lc meter and now let's test it with the help of multimeter also so in the multimeter it's reading about 92 microfarad so pretty close when we uh, measure the electrolytic capacitors but for the polyester capacitors high voltage capacitors there is a slight offset and i assume that is because of the frequency in which these are measuring now the next test is to measure the inductance so here i have three different type of inductors so i will be testing one by one so for that i will have to take this to the inductor mode so we have to press the yolo button to take this to lx mode now uh, i will be selecting the high range so that these inductors could be measured because i know these are a pretty high value inductance and this one reads 0 0.102 millihenry now the next inductor that i want to test is this inductor so it's a magnetic type inductor as you can see it's uh, sticking to the uh, ferromagnetic parts so i will just connect this also okay this one is not reading any inductance here so let's test it in lower range so it is about 7.6 micro henry inductance then the next one is obviously i will be testing this transformer it's a ferrite core transformer and this is the uh, ec28 model transformer so let's test the uh, secondary side first so here i will be connecting to two probes so here this transformer is reading 0 0.52 millihenry in the secondary side and if i connect any two of these in the primary side i don't know which one is connected to which pin okay so here it reads about 0 0.149 millihenry which is the uh, i guess the high voltage primary side then we have the feedback or the auxiliary winding also so this one is reading about 0 0.150 millihenry last one is reading about that is also 0 0.15149 millihenry so this one works pretty fine with these uh, inductors so this is the review and testing of this uh, inductance meter so that's all for this video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel i will be posting videos like this and in the next video i will be upgrading the firmware of dso138 oscilloscope so stay tuned and i will see you in my next video